out here today shooting the Hungarian Fag AMD 65. Let's get to it. I gotta knock some pollen off of that target. <laughs> All right, so real quick, I just actually picked this gun up um, this past week in uh, Noonan, Georgia. And by the way, um, my prayers go out to the people out in Noonan. Uh, we just recently had a bad weather, a uh, bad tornado out there. But um, I picked this up um, a week ago, uh, less than a week ago, rather. And um, man, I'm super pleased with it. The, um, the transaction went really well. What I got was the firearm, which is this is a, a Hungarian Fag uh, AMD 65, um, all original, all matching parts. It comes with the uh, well, it came with the magazine, which this isn't the actual magazine. This is actually a KCI um, Korean-made magazine. It's a tanker-style mag, which most. Um, most of the Hungarian fags actually would use because it's easier to take in and out of the uh, the magwell when you have this um, this uh, foregrip in the front of it. Um, as you guys know, with the American laws, of course, with barrel lengths, this has to be uh, pinned and well to have this extra length. But if it wasn't, this would have actually been a lot closer. This this uh, muzzle brake. Um, well, yeah, like I said, it's an all-matching gun. It's not a parts kit, which is great. It actually has the, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it is the, there we go, the FEG logo on it. Um, very nice gun to shoot, actually. I took it out last week to shoot it. I just didn't get a chance to do uh, any extensive, um, you know, explaining on it because I uh, had an issue with my target stand. It actually broke on me, so I would be doing a little bit more of extensive talking about it. But um, well, yeah, like I said, it has the uh, folding stock, which um, I'm actually going to do some upgrades with this gun. I'm not going to do a whole lot because I do kind of want to keep it a little bit as close as possible to the original style. But there will be a few things that I will be tweaking because I will be adding an optic on it. Um, because I, I can't really see that well as I used to be. Uh, my, my, my eyesight is actually going kind of crazy right now. But I will be adding an optic. I will be, uh, I just purchased a um, ALG trigger for it. Uh, also a um, retaining plate from AK Operators Union. Um, let's see, what else did I purchase? I, I'm actually got a sling. I bought a sling mount, which is which will probably take a little bit longer because it's actually coming from Russia. So it would be taking a little bit longer, but it will add actually in uh, right under the pistol grip. Uh, and also, I purchased a um, like a cheek riser from AMD 65 Tech that I will that I ordered um, this past week. So I'm waiting for that to come through. But like I said, it's a very nice gun, even without all that stuff. You know, if you just want to shoot something uh, close, co close combat or close range, um, this is a good gun for the fence. It does get warm on you. Uh, up front because there's not much protection like how a normal uh, AKM would be with the uh, the wood furniture. This is just all metal. So once it gets hot and I just put 20 rounds through and I can already feel the heat. I know it will be getting hot on me, but um, overall, like I said, it's a great gun and um, don't want to hold you guys up on it. A little technical difficulty on that. Had a little issue with locking, but let's do it. As you can see, it does clear out. 
um, just like the standard 20 round magazine just sometimes it does kind of get in the way when you're um, adding the magazine in but all the same it works well because it's an AK and it does accept those magazines regardless um, I know a lot of the imported AMD 65 actually came with the um, like the single stack magazine so some of them did have to be cut out and a lot of them was cut out kind of crudely but this one actually seemed to be machined pretty well and um it does lock up it's not loose like some of them have been uh and i know a lot of people have ran into those issues like with the wasser 10s where they originally was single uh single stack magazines where they had to cut it out and that's why you get that wobble when you have those um wasser 10s if you notice that it's kind of loose in there as, as if you have the earlier models let me say it like that if you have the earlier models it is looser because they did have to do that cutting so it can accept um double stack magazines but like i said man this is a great gun um it's nice compact as you can see it folds up which is really nice and i love that it comes with the folding um you know stock magazine uh, excuse me folding stock rather uh and one thing i love about it is that this is a hungarian fact this is like the what you would actually see as a real hungarian amd 65 minus the uh barrel extension and the reason why i say that is because at one point in time we did have um some parts kit came in to America and they started making those uh, AMD 65s that um, what was that classic firearms I think was selling and they were selling them for like 450 bucks or $500 something like that the only thing about those is that they were kind of incorrect well for the most part they were incorrect they had incorrect barrels the barrels were way too long and it just wasn't actually they wasn't actual um, AMD 65s what you would actually see you know in history books or you know actually pictures from the war or something like that but this is what you would see minus that barrel extension but anyway let's get back to it all right so if, i don't know if you guys can see it that well on camera but this is a magazine that i picked up from a pawn shop not too long ago uh in douglasville georgia and um you guys won't believe it if you, you guys saw it on my instagram if you guys follow me on instagram 404 arms by the way and by the way if you guys haven't followed me on my page check out my page 404 arms um i'm always putting informative information on there um if you guys need something as far as like where to pick up ammo very cheap i try to post it i try to especially in georgia i try to show people because I know a lot of people are still having difficulties finding ammo and I try my best to help out people, show them, give them tips of where to find ammo, different locations that I know is kind of stocking consistently. But um, anyway, I posted on this, on my page, this um, magazine. This is a uh, Norinco Bakelite magazine that I picked up and you can see it does have the marking. So I'm not lying on that. Let's see if I can pick it up on camera. That's the triangle 66 right there. It's just not coming up on camera that well. As you can see on that side, it's Norinco with the star. Um, I picked that magazine up for $20. And this is in 2020 when I picked, well, no, excuse me, 2021 when I picked this up. Um, yeah, great magazine. This is a great magazine. This um, runs well, but I'm checking on Gumburger. They're going for like three or $400. That's crazy, but um, 20 bucks. $20 and I'm very happy on that purchase and um man I'll buy it again if I saw it in there and the guy did have other magazines um not to diss him or nothing like that it just doesn't he didn't really seem too knowledgeable about guns but um he just had a bunch of stuff that was there that I was like man if you only knew <laughs> but um and I did pick up a couple things because I was like man I couldn't pass that deal up but uh anyway let's get back to shooting hand is heat, heating up but anyway 
man this is a great gun i'm very happy with that purchase and uh, like i said it's an ak it's running <laughs> it's an ak which you expect but um man i enjoy it uh, i got one more mag left i'm gonna put through it um before i do all my upgrades and everything but um man i'm very happy with that purchase and this isn't my first amd 65 by the way but this is my first like all the way original amd 65 that didn't have all these other crazy mods on it that just kind of took away from it and when i say i'm going to do mods on mines my upgrades the things i'm going to do i can take them off if i want to the one that i previously had you couldn't take them off they were like welded on there and it was just horrible and I, it just looked terrible and i didn't like that so i wanted something that i can keep and if i do want to change it back to the original configuration i can i have that option that one was like welded on there. i would have to dremel it off if i wanted to and repaint it and do all a bunch of crazy stuff to it but this one right here is the beast i love it i'm really happy with it so uh, let me put this last mag through it and uh give you guys my final uh thoughts and what you guys will be expecting Priest. also i don't know if you guys may have noticed but like all the different mags i've been using like from different countries by the way i had some korean mags some kci some romanian made mags you know the uh the norinko chinese magazine um i'm just getting different ones i got a great croatian magazine back there with the boat hole open so you're just finding different mags that i'm using from different countries but as you can see they all work reliably and I'm happy with them all, but um, and more than importantly, I'm really happy with the gun because it's putting down work. So let's get back to it. So you guys know that I love AKs and this is one that I'm really happy to add in my collection. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to add those mods to it because my hand is burning up. As you can see that smoke is coming off that barrel and wow. But um, <laughs> but overall, man, I'm still happy with it. And even though it is kind of hot on this barrel, it is keeping me warm because it's cold out here in Georgia right now and there's so much pollen and I can't breathe. But um, man, I'm having fun with it though. I love it so much. Happy with the, happy with the purchase, and I didn't even pay that much for it to be honest with you. In this today's market with 2021, I didn't really pay that much for it if you think about it. And um, and I'm really happy with the price. And man, I can't wait to play. I can't wait to shoot more of this. I mean, this is an awesome gun. But anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. This is 404 Arms. Hope you guys like, subscribe, follow my IG channel, 404 Arms. And uh, man, thank you guys so much again. God bless. Stay safe out there. Peace out.